hair fails, hair fails. Hey y'all, good morning. <laughs> so, as you can see, I am back. I am talking regular. My jaw is still hurting though, so I don't even want to like get y'all too excited. Um, I'm still hurting like on this bottom part, but I'm back to normal. My voice is a little hoarse because I really haven't talked the past few days. Um, and it's kind of early, it's like eight something in the morning. As you see, I look really tore down. I just got back in town last night. And uh, yeah, so I'm about to head to the gym. I'm gonna try to work out today. I don't know how well it's gonna work out. This is my first day back in the gym in like a week and a half, cause I couldn't work out obviously because of my jaw, like I was in so much pain. And even now, like, cause you know, all this is connected. So like my jaw, it's my ear is like killing me. So I don't even know how great this workout is gonna be. I'm gonna try to push through it because I really need to work out. It's July 1st, it's the start of a new month. We got goals we're trying to hit. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to do 30 days again since I couldn't do the 30 days last month because of all these unexpected things of mutilating myself. So we're gonna try again for 30 days. But even though I didn't go to the gym for the 30 days, your girl still did hit some goals because I got on the scale this morning. <sighs> you know, if you ever just want to lose some weight, get your wisdom teeth pulled out. Like, oh God, get your wisdom teeth pulled out. You'll hit your weight goals. <laughs> yes! that I've been doing like some research on. I've been seeing everybody like online, like top bottom, post them, did see them. So they're supposed to restrict blood flow. If you let, uh, if you let G tell it, they just uh, only lift your butt. They're just there to just like make, like lift your butt and make your butt look good. Um, but they're actually supposed to restrict blood flow, which is supposed to make like your leg pump better. But I don't know if I'm gonna use them today. I think I might use them another day. I don't think I'm gonna use them. Um, I can see why they would be beneficial, but I don't know if I'm gonna use them today. I think I might. I think I'm gonna use them. We'll see. If I end up switching it up, because I really kind of just was done. I might do upper body, because it's Thursday which is technically my upper body day, but I didn't work out in the past week, so it's like, I feel like I should really just do full body today. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna give this a go. My jaw is actually hurting me really bad, like all the way up to my ear. So, we're actually gonna see how much of this workout I can get through, because my jaw's like really hurting me. Like, it, it's, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's more so my ear than it is my jaw. But I know that it's my jaw that's causing the pain because I can still feel it right here. So we're gonna see. Let it go. That's what I need. I love the yellow so much better with me. I'm looking for what the day is like this. I love the yellow so much better with me. I'm looking for what the day is like this.
saved the picture that I took of my starting at um, day 30 at the begin day one at the beginning of June when I was like 30 when I initially started and I didn't and it's crazy because I didn't save it on snapchat or on Instagram which is really weird I wonder if that shit got deleted because that's why I saved it because I wanted to keep it as a mile mark because I had put all the information on there like all of my stats and weight and everything so I know that I did good because I remember what it was. I just wanted to be able to post it. So it started out at the beginning of the 30 days. Mind you, I didn't even finish the 30 days because, you know, of everything that happened. But it was 168. Now I'm 164. So I lost four pounds. But I did go down in my inches because I think it was like, I think it was, I know it was 45. I can't remember if it was 37, 36. 28 45 or if it was <clears throat> if, if it was 36 29 45 I honestly can't remember that's the part that I can't remember I know it was 168 so I know I lost four pounds but this morning when I when I measured myself I was 36 like a little under 28 in 44 so I did go down which that always happens on workout like that I'm always gonna lose leg day um, cause I haven't worked out, but yeah, so I'm happy that I lost four pounds, so we're on the way. camera so you guys can see hey y'all so today's been kind of stressful um <laughs> you guys are ever gonna refinance your house or buy a house by the way you know I'm a realtor hit my DMs if you're trying to buy a house if you're in if you're in Georgia um but if you are ever trying to go through the home buying process freedom mortgage I've been dealing with them. I've literally been on the phone for the past five, six hours. Dealing with trying to get everything done because I'm trying to close. This has been a two month process. They have great quality products. Like they had great interest rate. They had no closing costs and all this. But the customer service is trash. And as y'all know from one of those last vlogs, I am big when it comes to customer service. I just am. I just am. You will lose my business if the customer service is trash. I don't care. <sighs> so I'm a little too far in. So yeah, today has been kind of lackluster and boring. I have not been able to really get anything done. I've been literally on the phone for from like, I got off the gym at what, 1030? From like 11 all the way to like 4 was spent being on the phone. Dealing with mortgage stuff between Freedom Mortgage and U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank is trash, just so you know. Don't go with them. If you're if you're if you close with a smaller company and they sell your loan to U.S. Bank, run, 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 I'm like run. So it is like what time is it? <laughs> so the time it is. It is six fifteen. I'm playing with eat some things. So I was in Houston. And there's this store that I like. It's called Phonesia. I love this store so much. It's like a market and like a restaurant. I have to go there every time I go and I always get like really good food and stuff. So like, you know, I'm working on my board. Oh, I know I have to explain that board to you guys. I have to explain it to you guys probably tomorrow because I'm probably getting stuff down. So I bought like a lot of like meats and cheeses and stuff like that. But then they also have like food and stuff. So I've got like this really good like cheesecake as well as um these are like some empanadas and i had just got like some sushi like i spent like well over a hundred dollars in there like it's so good and so these are some mozzarella 
and pepperoni empanadas. So I'm about to eat this because I haven't eaten since earlier because I've been on phone all day. So yes, we're about to cook this, make some dinner, and then just chill. Do something with our hair, try to figure it out. Cause I have to go to the gym early in the morning. So it's about to be a chill night tonight because I need a, I need a break after all the talking. excited a little good news this morning i'll insert a clip right after i say this but so i woke up feeling kind of good except my jaw my jaw's killing me like i didn't take my last dose of medicine last night because i fell asleep so now i woke up and my jaw oh my jaw's killing me so i'm about to try to go to the gym and see if i can get through it but i don't know what's going on and it's weird because today is exactly a week today is friday so i'm eight days post-op and my jaw is still killing me like I'm, I, I, I still I, I just don't feel like my jaw should still be killing me eight days post-op but I'm excited though because I woke up and I got on the scale and it was 163 yes it was, it was actually like 163 point like eight or nine or something like that I don't know I didn't turn clip but it was 163, so I'm down another pound. I'm excited, especially because I ate like uh, I ate those empanadas yesterday. Like I ate that bread, so I was like, oh my god, I know I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna be like two pounds heavier. That's just how that's just how I work. Remember how like in um what was it uh fucking uh Big Daddy and Adam Sandler was like, I ate a cheeseburger, my ass jiggles for a week. That is me, okay? I want my own ass. Me too. I can be doing so good, and if I eat one bad thing, I'll, I'll, I'll gain like five pounds. It's it's fucking retarded. But what I'm also noticing when I walked downstairs earlier, and I don't know how I missed this when I walked in yesterday when I got back into town. My beautiful flowers that I got, they're starting to die. They're starting to die, y'all. So. I have like still half a pack of like the the plant food. I'm just gonna bring it to life. I'm gonna have to insert. Oh, I hope I saved it. I'm gonna have to insert like a video clip of my flowers. Really, say good morning, dumb. Cheese. I'm gonna have to insert a clip of the packet. I mean, of the flowers when I first got them. My friend got me these beautiful bouquet of pink roses and lilies, and they bloomed and stuff, but I think while I was gone, because where they're at, the blinds were closed and there wasn't any sun or whatever, they're starting to die, like really die. I walked downstairs this morning and noticed that like, I'll just show you guys. Like, they're starting to die, and I noticed that the leaves and stuff were falling while I was gone, so I am going to see if I can rejuvenate them with that plant food that like comes with it because I already used like one because I did it like half um and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna I got the other half I'm gonna try to put it in there so we gonna see don't really know how much sunlight they're gonna get <laughs> because it is very rainy outside and nasty but they're still in front of all the windows so hopefully but it is yes it is very rainy outside very very rainy so we're gonna see so I am about to get up well, I'm already up. I'm about to listen to the gym <sighs> so I can get this 163 down to 143. <laughs> and 
excited. Um, going to the office a little bit today. Um, because it's still in the process of being finished. You guys saw in the last video. It's still in the process of being done. So, I'm not too happy about that. But, say lovey. And then, um, editing. And then, maybe dinner or something tonight. I don't know. I see what, uh, I'll see what Lonnie's doing. Or see what Shreya's doing. Let's see if anybody wants to go to dinner. Because it's Friday. Alright, I'm going to the gym. Bye. Y'all, Netflix just put She's Out of My League and Why the Fools Fall in Love back on Netflix. I'm so excited. I'm already on the third hole and it didn't take me that long to get to the third hole even then so yeah so this like I said this is a I don't know if you can see it this is a small and I now need an extra small Y'all, I know that y'all probably can't see because it's very subtle, but if y'all could just see the way that my leg is shaking. <laughs> Them damn straps ain't no joke. I was trying to drive home and my fucking thighs are shaking. Like, I'm just sitting here, they're shaking. Like, it's, it's hard to see because it's not that subtle, but my fucking thighs are like twitching. Them fucking straps ain't no joke, y'all. Like, swell. So I'm leaving the office. I just stopped up here really fast after leaving the gym to just check it out. It's coming along so good, y'all. Like, I'm so proud of my broker and how he's taking it because I saw this place when it was literally like nothing. Like, it was a pile of bricks. To see now what the office has changed to, it's is really coming along so I'm, I'm excited i can't wait till it's done done and i can go back into the office to start working because i'm a person where i like working from home is cool um you know it's cool but i like to be in the office I, i've always been that type of person because even as an entrepreneur sometimes we have to treat it like it's a regular job so that feeling of getting up and going like to the office Sometimes you need that. There are some days when I be like, no, I'm just about to go and just work in my home office. So yeah, I'm excited. It's coming along. Can't wait to the grand opening. It's gonna be so, it's gonna be so nice.
can see, this was um not like a big fail, but it's just not giving what it needs to give. Like, it's just, it's just not giving what it needs to give. I wanted bigger curls than my natural curl pattern. As you know, I have really small ringlets and I wanted big ones. And this is not really giving what it needs to give. It's giving me um old church mom. I don't know. Roller sets never fucking work out for me when I try to do them. I think I don't know what it is. I don't I don't know what it is. It's always my roots. They get on my damn nerves. Like if you see this. I don't know. I don't know. Well, all I know is this is not giving what it needs to give. So I'm probably gonna wash it out in a few days. And I'm getting ready to go to dinner with Lottie. And I don't even wanna get like dressed up or anything or like do makeup or anything because I can't with this hair. It's I can't with this hair, y'all. Look at this shit. What is this? What is, what is this? I fuck this damn shit all up. <laughs> it is not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not doing what I wanted it to do. <laughs> so yeah, we're about to just go to Six Feet Under, which is the place where you can be like out of jail. Like I went there on a date one time with a guy. It's like we're in jail. So we're about to go to Six Feet Under. I ain't doing no makeup. I ain't getting dressed up. I ain't doing nothing. I wanted to. I wanted to be like pop, pop, pop. No, this is listen. Super light. We just doing it off like a little sundress, you know what I'm saying? Real quick, like going to grab some food. <sighs> else is like one of their favorite movies like ugh, why do fools fall in love so good classic Lorenz classic Vivica classic Holly classic Layla Vershawn like ugh, don't need to keep going on oh so good so good hey guys so I know I haven't vlogged much today I've been on the phone all day with different friends discussing different things um, good news though like you guys see this big bunch and like how I have this pulled all the way. So I just finished working out, hanging out the sauna, and yeah, I need a new one. And I have actually been looking on Amazon, but I have been struggling. Like it'll say extra small when I search it, but then when I go to click on it, their smallest one is small. So if anyone has a company that has extra small waist trainers and trimmers, let me know because this small is too big now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm not a small. I'm not a small. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm stupid. Y'all know that. Bye. <laughs> about you, I need to know. Look across the so, as you can see, guys, just got done filming. Uh, I have two new try on videos coming, so just got done doing those. I had to, I actually filmed half of it, so I had to film the other half today, so that's what I just did. And now I'm about to find some food because I am starving. Hey guys, what is up? I know I have not vlogged that much today. Diamond, calm down. I am letting you out, Jesus. Um, I've not vlogged that much today because I've actually been filming a lot today. Uh, was on the phone a lot in the morning and then today oh god am I losing my light I feel like I'm losing my light I am um was filming doing that as you can see hair is 
I don't know. I don't know what this hair is doing. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I was filming all day. So because I was filming using my camera, I couldn't really like vlog doing anything. Um, got two videos filmed today as well as trying to get some editing in. So I'm thinking I might go out later. It's 4th of July weekend. So, you know, trying to find a little turn up, you know what I'm saying? And I say that and my ass could wholeheartedly be sitting in this house tonight. Like don't, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I hope to go out. But I might just be sitting in the house. Um, I actually had like a little bit of like a onset, I guess I should say, of um, an anxiety attack a little bit earlier. I was able to like get it under control, but it's just weird because I feel like I've been having like my anxieties been getting a little worse and been having like a little bit more attacks because the last like panic attack that I had was. Um, when is that? When did I land? Whenever it was, it was, if it wasn't May, was it May? Was it end of May? I think it was the end of May or mid May. No, it might have been April. I don't know when it was. Whatever it was, um, I was in Detroit and I had a really bad panic attack. I literally ended up going and then turning right back around and coming home. I didn't even stay. It, it was bad. Um, and then, so here I am now, like, what is this? Not even three months later, having another panic attack. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, that, you know what? If I don't go out tonight, I am going to start researching. Oh Lord, um, better ways to deal with my anxiety and um, really just finding ways to like. I don't want to say cope because it's really not the word because I know how to cope with my anxiety, but um, of different ways. Like I know the lemon thing, which I've I've had to do before with where you got to bite the lemon and it forces your brain to focus on that and not what you're thinking about. I've done that, but you know I don't know because I just I I or you know let me not even lie. I really just need to just go in and just rid my life of all the things that bring me stress and anxiety but that's kind of hard to do like have you guys ever been in a space like that where it's like you know what you need to do but you don't but you don't really want to do it so you kind of just like sweep it under the rug or at least you think that you're sweeping it under the rug but then sometimes the littlest things can bring back that trigger that's what happened today and that's why I'm like, yeah. Cause it was the littlest thing that brought on a panic attack earlier. So yeah, we're gonna figure it out. Do you guys have anxiety? Let me know, comment section. Do you guys have, suffer from like anxiety or depression or anything like that? I know it can't just be just me, I know that. But I don't know, let's talk about it. What are things that you guys are like onsets of your anxiety. Like for me, it's if I'm stressing over something, it's if I feel very overwhelmed, it's if I come in communication with certain people, if I land in certain cities, um, if I go to certain places. Um, it, it, it's like it's like little things that like, if it's something that's a trigger for me that brings up something that I have moved past, that's definitely, <coughs> That's definitely something that heightens my anxiety. But yeah, those are like the main things. Like being in a situation where I feel like I have no control and shit is about to blow up. That's like my number one. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think I might spend the night like researching that because it's really weird that I have had two panic attacks in less than four months of each other. It's kind of weird. So, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. It is July 4th. Happy July 4th to anybody who celebrates July 4th. I'm actually a big um, July 4th person just because I like, I love fireworks and that's like the one day of the year where you can have fireworks and no one can like do you. Um, but I'm actually not doing anything this year for the 4th. I'm actually 
Um, I'm actually gonna go to work. So I'm actually gonna go to work later. Um, kind of get away, release, release me stress. That's how I relieve stress, I go to work. <laughs> um, so, not really doing much. This is kind of gonna be the end of this vlog, which this past weekend, I really didn't do much just because I still been in a lot of pain since last week. And I know I was talking to you guys yesterday about how like I had almost started to have an anxiety attack um, yesterday when I was like, you know, feeling a certain way. And so I ended up talking to one of my doctor friends last night and then she just put like a lot of stuff in perspective. Cause so I was like, I don't understand why I was about to have another anxiety attack over something so small, which by the way, I thought slash think that I have a dry socket on the bottom from these wisdom teeth because I just don't feel like there's a reason why I'm on day nine and I'm still in pain. It's just not adding up. So like I was looking up all the symptoms of a dry socket and I was like, oh my God, this is me. Like I started freaking out. I was like, I did everything I was supposed to do. Like it was crazy. It was bad. I started like freaking out like really bad. But then I was talking to her last night and after I talked to y'all and she's like, she's I feel I feel so stupid. Like now, like the next like, I feel so stupid. She was like Jessica. She was like, I can tell you why you had an anxiety attack so close to the one that you had when you were in Detroit. <laughs> and I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, Jessica, have you had any sleep in the past week? And I was like that wasn't medically induced by you no know, not really I haven't been really sleeping that well like and she knew that she said Jessica how has your diet been the past week I was like well I just ate like food like food food starting on like Wednesday but I can still even till now only chew on the, the right side of my face like I'm still mostly on smoothies and anything soft I said I tried to go out to dinner with Lonnie on Friday, but uh, that didn't turn out the best just because it was very, very hard for me to eat. She was like, so you haven't had any sleep and you haven't had a regular diet and you're wondering why you freaked out over something that's normal. And I was like, oh, okay. So yeah, I learned something new yesterday that diet and sleep are two things that really 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 can heighten your anxiety and panic attacks and stuff like that i knew the sleep was because i know that times when i've had my really bad panic attacks it usually falls into a period of when i haven't been having that much sleep but i didn't think about that i haven't been having that much sleep because normally when I don't have that much sleep, it's because I'm working like a, like a crazy person, working like a workaholic. This time it was just because these meds. And then when I stopped taking the meds, I wasn't sleeping that well because my body is trying to get back to normal. So yeah, so I'm excited about that. So now I just need to get some rest, which is why I'm getting out of town, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna go to work, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna, the diet thing, we'll see about that. Cause today is day four, so I'm gonna be working out today, day four, 30 days, no days off. I'm gonna get on the scale, that's what the scale says for today. And I don't know if I'm gonna work out this morning or work out tonight, I don't know, I'll decide, but I'm gonna work out, which I like working out cause that brings me back Cause that was another thing too, which we were talking about. I hadn't worked out in like two weeks. Like the other day in the gym was my first day back in the gym in like two weeks. So yeah, it's crazy how much diet, sleep and exercise can really affect your overall self. Like the things that we know, but we don't know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm glad I talked to her. She put a lot of perspective. I just need to get back to normal. Like this whole wisdom tooth thing, cause it threw me off my game, cause it literally came out the blue. Had to have surgery out the blue. It kind of threw me just for a loop. And I don't do well with things that like throw me out the loop like that. I can handle them. You'll never see me sweat. But deep down inside, they really do throw me out the loop. So 
that's why but i am I'm calm now like i said i'm getting ready to get out of here so if you made it to the end of the vlog thank you so much i know it's like shit like it's okay it's early morning like i literally just woke up and picked up my camera it's okay so if you made it to the end of the vlog which this is probably gonna be a short one like oh y'all um i appreciate you so much i love you guys so much again if you suffer from anxiety let me know some things that help you calm down when you're about to have a panic attack or just just anything that will help i hope you guys have an amazing week like i'm about to this week is going to be the bromates premiere so i'm gonna be going to that the private screening so it's gonna be a good week so again if you made it in the vlog i appreciate you don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one.